I've got a reset short trade. Now we've got a little skip, a little tiny gap here, but I'm going to get into this anyways. So we are short a reset trade. Now my stop loss will jump up here. My take profit will go down here. Now we're looking at one to one on the reset trade. Market has used an awful lot of momentum to get where it it has gotten to, so we're not going to expect it to move a whole lot further. So we're in this reset, and as this trade progresses, I will manage it. But until I get to do that, I'll put the video on pause, and I'll be back shortly. This one is coming along nice, and I get a chance to manage this trade. Now I'm going to do that right here. Now I'm going to reduce the risk on this one by half. So there is half the amount of risk and double the reward. Is that what that works out to? So we've got half the risk. If I was risking 2% on the trade, now I'm risking 1%. So if I do lose this, it's going to be smaller than what I had initially put on the table. Now, it looks like the price had hit this line, and it did. The price hit my exit line, but it needs to get beyond that line by the spread. Because this is a sell trade, it needs to get lower than this line by the spread. And we have to consider that with our stop loss as well. Price needs to get below the stop loss by the spread amount before it takes us out. So price isn't gonna to touch the line itself, it's gonna get below it by the spread amount. And in this case, it'll be about two pips. I think when the trade was taken, it was 1.8 pips. So if we get to about two pips below the exit line, Either way, the price has to be below the exit line by the spread amount to be taken out, which is why we like to add the spread amount to our stop loss. When we place it, put your stop loss where you want it and then add the spread amount. All right, little lesson there. Uh, this is why we weren't taken out here. So price needs to get just a little bit lower than it did on this one candle before we get taken out of the trade. I've got no worries about that. I've got my take profit, put exactly where I want it, and market is going to take us out. I am confident of that. If it doesn't, my stop has been reduced, so the damage for a losing trade is going to be minimal. We were taken out just right now. We jumped below, and our take profit was hit. Uh, the stop loss, well placed. The take profit, well placed. This trade worked out nicely. This was a reset short trade. Uh, and because the market moved, there was a little bit less momentum. We don't want to assume that the market is going to always deliver for us. So we want to know when is the time that the market has less momentum, when's the time when it has most momentum. And this was a reset trade. So we know that the momentum isn't in full swing. So we're not going for the big targets with this one. Uh, but this one worked out really, really well. Let's take a quick look and see what we did here. I'll put the arrows on the chart and take a look at what we made on this one. So this is the reset. Now I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in here just a bit. I'm going to widen it a little bit just so we can see. All right, so we got the reset short. This was the signal to go short. Uh, we got our one-to-one. -one. It was a beautiful trade. On this one, we made 975 bucks. We didn't make quite as much as we do with maybe an equilibrium trade, simply because, again, we're not looking for some super follow-through. We know at this point where the market is likely to really go strong and where it's likely to maybe not go quite as hard. And this is the one that's not going to give us a lot of market movement, but we know exactly what to expect. All right, reset trade, 975 bucks. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in another live trade video.